And Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was in Rome to attend the G20 summit, where apart from taking part in the climate discussion, Lavrov spoke out in clear words against U.S. and a NATO grouping. Lavrov said, and I'm quoting here, we have no information about what NATO is going to do. We rely on facts, and facts are as follows, that NATO does not want any cooperation with us. Now, a few weeks ago, Russia announced suspension of NATO military liaison mission in Moscow in a tit-for-tat move for NATO, expelled several members of Moscow's delegation to the Alliance for Alleged Spying. Lavrov also added that NATO is only interested in spreading propaganda and putting pressure on the Kremlin. On U.S.'s military presence in the Black Sea, the Russian foreign minister said... By sending military ships to the Black Sea waters, the United States does not add stability to the region, but tries to push coastal countries towards confrontational policies. This comes with the ties between U.S. and Russia continues to degrade. Lavrov also said that the military ships in the Black Sea is not the sole incident. I'm quoting yet again. There have been several occasions when the U.S. has explicitly declared the need for its military vessels to enter these waters in order to deter Russia. Beyond the political tensions, Lavrov also spoke on climate change, the theme of the G20 summit, where he said that the work not only if the, of the leaders, but also of the experts who negotiated the full multi-page declaration, is that efforts to promote one-sided approaches have fallen by the wayside and that a collective approach is now needed to combat the crisis. Lavrov also spoke on Russia carbon neutral commitment by 2060. We have announced that we will do this. Uh, we will uh, reach uh, carbon neutrality by uh, not later than 2060. This is our calculated commitment and we are sticking to it. And uh, I stand to be corrected, but nobody has proven to us or to anybody else that 2050 is something which everybody must subscribe to. Speaking to the press, the Russian foreign minister said that he met with U.S. President Joe Biden during the summit as well. No, I haven't seen uh, Tony Blinken in, in Rome. I don't know whether he is here or not. But yesterday, uh, over dinner, uh, we managed to talk with President Biden. He did not send any regards, so I cannot. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.